Hi guys, it's Grace here again to share some more about my weight loss story in the hope that it will be able to help some of you with yours. Okay guys, I want to get right into it today because I feel like what I'm going to talk to you about today is some of the most practical things that I have used to help me in my weight loss journey. And today I want to focus on managing your hunger because during my weight loss journey, it has been so important for me to be able to learn to manage and to recognize my hunger because I don't know about any of you but if you any of you are anything like me because of the way I have eaten in the past and because of the the ways I used food in the past it has made it difficult for me to recognize my hunger and in some ways it made me feel like I was hungry all the time the fact of the matter is, because of all the various fatty diets that I have tried in the past and because of how frequently I have tried to diet in the past, I feel like that basically messed up my ability to recognise when I was truly hungry. And because I wasn't able to recognize when I was truly hungry. It then felt like I was hungry all the time. And when you're on a weight loss journey, it obviously is not going to be possible for you to be eating all the time. So I knew that during my weight loss journey, I was going to have to find a way to start to not only recognize when I was hungry, but also to begin to manage my hunger in a way where I was beginning to trust my body again. I hope that makes sense because I feel like because of the way that I had treated my body before this weight loss journey, I had begun not to trust my body anymore. I began to feel like my body wanted me to be fat. And I began to feel like my body was actively working against me losing weight. But the truth is, as I have gone through this weight loss journey, I have realized that I had not been giving my body the things that it needed in order for it to help me to reach a healthy, leaner weight. And my body was simply reacting to the circumstances that I was creating. And so it was for me to change the circumstances that I was creating into a healthier set of circumstances in order for my body to begin to work with me to shed this excess weight that I had been carrying, this excess fat. So I want to talk to you today about the practical things that I used in order for me to begin to recognise my hunger and to honour my hunger in a way that was not only going to help me to reach my fat loss goals, but was also going to help my body to feel good. And for me to start feeling like me and my body were working together for these goals that I have. And I hope that makes sense because I feel like sometimes because of the way that we treat our bodies, um, especially if we have a history of overeating and especially if that overeating started in childhood as men did, we begin to feel like we're in a battle with our bodies. And I'm so grateful that I have 
come so far in this journey now that I realise that actually my body is an amazing and wonderful thing and it treats me well when I treat it well. <laughs> so, okay, let us um, get into these five tips that I have used to help me to recognise and honour my hunger. So the first one that I want to talk about on the face of it, it may seem like it's very simple, but it has benefited me in so many ways to be mindful of this. So the first tip that I want to give you is that when I am eating, I always try to be mindful of chewing my food thoroughly. Now that might seem to be something so simple, but honestly, I know that prior to my weight loss journey and throughout my childhood and teenage years and into my adulthood, I was not mindful when I was eating, especially if I was eat overeating. I would eat my food extremely fast. I would be watching television while I was eating. I would be talking to people on the phone while I was eating. I'll be talking to people face to face while I was eating. And I was not actually thinking about the food that was going into my body at the time. And I feel like now that I take the time to sit down, to be mindful about eating my food and chewing my food, actually chewing it rather than <laughs> swallowing large chunks of food whole, I'm able to allow my body to have the time to acknowledge and to recognize that it has eaten. Because I feel like before, when I used to just eat the food without um, thought and when I was barely chewing the food, because I would finish the food so quickly, I would feel like I was still hungry. And then I would go and eat more food. What I have found now is that because I take the time to chew my food thoroughly, by the time I finish my meal, meal a meal that I probably would have finished in less than 10 minutes before but probably now takes me about half an hour by then my body has had the opportunity to recognize that it has been fed and usually that has led to me getting those signals that yes I have eaten I am satisfied and now I can carry on with the rest of my day without feeling the need to go and eat additional food however that is not me saying that even if you take the time to chew your food thoroughly and take your time over your meal, that you won't ever feel that you need to eat more. But because you would have taken the time to chew your, thoroughly, your food thoroughly and because you would have taken your time over your meal, if you are still feeling hungry at that point, then it's more likely that actually you do need more food and then it shouldn't be a case of wondering whether you need more food. You can just go ahead and get that extra food until you then feel satisfied. So for me, that's the first tip that I want to tell you about. And as a bonus, I want to say to you that for me, before I eat my food, I give thanks to God for the food. And I have found that any time that... I find myself gobbling up the food because because what I want to say to you is this is a journey just because I have formed this habit for the most part and I usually do it I do sometimes forget so I have to consistently remind myself to take time over my food but I have noticed that whenever I have forgotten, <laughs> forgotten to take the time, it is when I have forgotten to give thanks to God for the food. So even just taking those few moments to express gratitude to God for that food that is before you helps to remind you to take time to savour that food and to appreciate that food and what it's going to be doing to your body. So that is my first tip to you, is to chew your food thoroughly. 
my second tip for you in relation to, again, trying to get to the place where you know that what you are feeling is true hunger and so that you are able to honour that hunger is about eating your vegetables first. So this is something that came out of me reading about the starch solution, which I talked to you about in my previous video. Basically, this is how I think about the starch solution. The starch solution is a whole food, plant-based way of eating, but with an emphasis on focusing on foods that are low calorie density. And the reason why um, there's a focus on low calorie density is to help um, with weight loss. So that's how I eat. I eat in a whole food, plant-based way. And because I'm still on my weight loss journey, I focus on eating low calorie density plant foods. Now, recently I found out the difference between hunger and appetite. And I, I feel like finding out the difference between these two has really helped me to understand my hunger much better. So, my simple understanding is that hunger is actually physiological. It comes from the processes in your body alerting you that you need to eat. Appetite comes from more your mental. So basically it's rather than it's a need to eat that your body is telling you about, your mind is rather telling you that you have a desire to eat. So that is my simple understanding of the two. But I encourage you to go and look it up for yourself so that you can get a wider understanding of it. Now, when I understood the difference between hunger and appetite, I realised that when you are truly hungry, you are more likely to eat whatever food is put in front of you because that is your body telling you that you need to eat. However, if that feeling of hunger is coming more from your appetite, you may not be willing to eat what is put in front of you. You may rather wish to eat something specific. Think about appetite in relation to, I want to eat a specific food. Whereas hunger is, my body needs nourishment and I will eat the food, whatever food is available to me. I hope that makes sense. In the starch solution, Dr. McDougall suggests what has become known as the 50-50 plate. And basically what the 50-50 plate is, is whenever you have a plate of food in front of you, whenever you're cooking and setting up your plate, what you should try to do is put 50% of your plate as lower calorie non-starchy vegetables and the other side of your plate as your chosen whole grains beans legumes and so on so what you would do is eat the vegetables first and then move on to the whole grains beans legumes if after you've eaten that plate of food you still feel hungry you would then go and fill your plate again in this 50-50 manner and you would again start with the vegetables. Now, why this is relevant to the difference between your hunger and your appetite is because, I, I don't know if I can say most, but I would say a large majority of people would prefer to eat the whole grain, your, you know, your rice, your potatoes, your pasta, they would prefer to eat the whole grain side of the plate first rather than the vegetables. However, if you fill up on the non-starchy vegetables first, what you're doing is ensuring that you're giving your body those nutrients, that fiber, that water, that helps to fill up your stomach in a low calorie density way before you move on to moderate uh, calorie density foods. And in that way, 
what you are doing is you are giving your body more time to acknowledge that it is being fed. And you're also eating in a way that is going to encourage you to be able to stay within whichever calorie deficit you have chosen because you're always filling up first on those very low calorie density uh, non-starchy vegetables. If you remember from my previous video, I explained that the vast majority of vegetables come into that 100 to 200 calorie per pound category. So if you have half a plate full of those, you're taking, although you're taking in a lot of food in relation to bulk, you're actually taking in not um, very many calories when you all start with your vegetables. So that is another tip that I give to you. Also, if you think about it, if you filled your plate in this 50-50 manner, you've got your vegetables and then you've got your whole grains, beans, legumes, and you're looking at your plate and you're not actually willing to start with the vegetables, then that may be a clue that perhaps you're not truly hungry. Because as I said, hunger is that those hormones, your physiology telling you that your body needs to eat. But appetite is more the desire to eat. And in that situation, it's more specific. It's, it's appetite that may be telling you that you want to eat cake or appetite that may be telling you that you want a biscuit or ice cream. However, hunger, it's more likely to just say, okay, we've got some broccoli, we've got some cucumber, let, let's eat that. So all these tips are tips that I am speaking to you about because I have practically applied them in my weight loss journey and they have been working for me. I like to eat sweet things in the morning. So in the morning, my plate will almost definitely have oats as my starch and then so many fruits. Um, apples are one of my favourite, but I will have apples, strawberries, blueberries in the morning. And I try to start eating my fruit first and then I move on to um, my oats. Um, I like to have flaxseed and plantain bread. I'm sure I'll be showing you a picture on the screen about this um and then in the evenings i'm i prefer to be more savory but what i try to do is always make sure that i have that base of vegetables that i start with and then i'll move on to whatever whole grain beans or legumes that i'm having so that's my second tip to you so now i want to move on to my third tip and in all honesty I don't think I have enough time to tell you just how important it is to include this in your diet, but I'm going to try to give you sort of the main key reasons why I always make sure that I have fiber, um, fibrous foods in my diet. Now, fiber has so many benefits. It has so many benefits for your health and I'm going to leave it to you to go and Google uh, many of those benefits. But in terms of fiber helping you to feel fuller and help you along your journey in your weight loss journey, two of the main benefits from fiber, it bulks up your, your food in your stomach. So say you've gone and eaten beans, Beans are one of the most fibrous plant foods that you can find. And so if you were to choose to eat beans, what you would find is that the fiber in those beans, it will fill up your stomach. And what it does is it slows down digestion. And in slowing down digestion, it helps you to feel fuller for longer. Now, when I found out about this, I was determined to eat as much fibrous food as I possibly could, because as I explained in the beginning, having been through so many different diets for, for decades and wanting to make sure that this weight loss journey that I am going on is going to be the last weight loss journey that I have to take, if I find something that not only tastes nice to me, 
but also can help me to feel fuller for longer so that I can find it easier to stay in my calorie deficit, then I'm definitely going to be incorporating that food into my diet. And that is what I have done. I found out that beans were among the most fibrous um, plant foods that you can find. And I, I found out that scientifically, they have been found to not only make you feel full from eating them in that one meal, but the fullness is likely to stay long enough to make you eat less in the next meal. Now, if that is not something that would make you go and eat beans, I don't know what will make you eat beans. Now, I know that beans have a reputation of causing a lot of gas. And I think we all know that to be true. However, what I have found is as I have gradually increased my intake of beans, that reaction within my digestive system of um, causing gas has become less and less. So I definitely include beans into my diet and I hope you will look into it yourselves and then um, go ahead and also include beans. But the reason why I'm focusing on beans is because they have so much fiber. And that is the overarching thing that I'm tip that I'm giving you is that you should look to include as much fiber as you possibly can into your diet as you go on your weight loss journey because it will help you to feel fuller for longer because it will slow down digestion and keep your stomach feeling fuller and because that helps you to stay within your calorie deficit that you've chosen so I've already spoken to you about chewing your food thoroughly. I've spoken to you about making sure you include lots of low calorie density, non-starchy vegetables in your diet and to make sure that when you're eating, you start with those first. I've spoken to you about fiber. Now I want to talk to you about water. Now, I know that maybe some of you have heard you should drink water because it fills up your belly, which I'm sure has truth to it. However, my reason for making sure that I drink plenty of water and my reason for specifically drinking water before I eat is because I wanted to make sure that my body was hydrated. And the reason why I wanted to make sure that my body was hydrated is because of this journey that I have been on to begin to recognize my true hunger cues. I really, really, really have been determined that I should learn to know when am I truly hungry because I I had come to a place where I felt I just could not recognize hunger properly anymore. I had come to a place where it just felt like I was hungry all the time and I knew that it wasn't possible for my body to be in a a constant state of hunger. So I used making sure that I was hydrated as a way of making sure that I would not be confusing thirst with hunger. I try to make sure that I keep myself hydrated throughout the day, but especially before the times that I'm about to eat food, because I want to know that the hunger that I am feeling the desire to eat food that I'm feeling is not coming from a place of my body needing water. And so I have found that to be really, really beneficial to me. Obviously, drinking water and keeping your body hydrated has so many other benefits to your skin, to your energy levels. Your body needs water. Your body is made up of so much water. Most of us know that we need water. However, Apart from that general need for water, that was my reasoning. I wanted to get closer to being able to recognize and acknowledge my true hunger. And I did not want my body potentially being dehydrated and feeling thirsty to interfere with me being able to recognize my hunger. So I encourage you to look more into that. You know, I know I say that all the time, but I feel like... It is so important that whatever change you make in your own individual life, you understand why you're making those changes. 
you're not relying on anyone else you're relying on the information and the research that you have done for yourself to know that you know that what you're doing is for your own benefit and I just feel like that is so important and that is what I have always been striving to do throughout this weight loss journey anything that I've heard somebody say I have then gone and looked into it myself to see if it is something potentially that would work for me and so I encourage you to go and look more into the benefits of water, the benefits of keeping hydrated. And then if you you come to the same conclusion as me, that it will not only aid my body in so many different ways, but it will also aid you in helping you to know your true hunger. Then, of course, then you take those steps to drink in more water in your life if you don't currently drink as much as you need. So now I've come to my final tip that I want to give you in this video and it's going to be short and sweet because I'm sure, I'm sure this video is long enough already. However, I think this one also is very important and that is including protein in your diet. Now, because I am plant-based, I look for beneficial plant-based protein. And the reason why I try to make sure that I eat foods that have protein is because I have come to understand that out of the three macronutrients of carbohydrates, fats and protein, protein is the one that takes the body the most energy to digest. So for me, that means that I have understood that because protein is taking a lot for the body to digest it, it makes you feel fuller for longer. The whole process that the body has to go through in order to digest that protein is helping it to give your body signals that it needs, it needs time. It needs time and it needs energy to digest this and therefore you feel fuller for longer as it goes through that process. Now again, this is what I have learned along my journey and I put it to you to go and look further into this and see for yourself whether or not you agree with what I've said and if you find that you do then I encourage you to use some of these tips to see if they will help you to be able to really get in touch with your hunger cues again if you feel like you have lost sight of them if you feel like you struggle to know your true hunger cues as I did and I can tell you that I don't feel like I am fully all the way there I still sometimes will eat too quickly and then feel like I want to eat more I still will sometimes forget to drink my water and potentially be miss interpreting uh, hunger as thirst but I feel like I'm so much further than I was in the beginning and I am genuinely beginning to understand that if I work with my body if I am kind to myself and gentle with my body then I will get closer and closer to understanding my body being able to recognize the cues that my body is sending me and work towards those goals that I have for my fat loss, for my body. And so because these tips have helped me so much along my journey, I'm now sharing them with you. And I hope that as you guys go forward and research them further, that you will be able also to incorporate some of them into your life and see progress that's that's what i want to share with you today um, as i say if you've gained anything useful from this video please give me a like if you want to keep hearing from me subscribe to my channel and if you've got any questions please leave them in the comment section i hope you guys have a wonderful day i thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one